to change it to your raw color and mouse over. Welcome to my channel Swiftland. In this tutorial, I will show you how to change it to your raw color and mouse over, and how to change it to your cell color and mouse over uh, in Windows Phone application using C Sharp. If you don't subscribe my channel yet, please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. This is the catalog as server. Let's start SQL Server Management Studio. This is the authentication SQL Server authentication login as and password is a SQL Server password. Connect OK. Expand the database. The object explorer and my data database name is uh, my task DB and table name is student info tab. Select uh, all the records. Yes, these are the records in the database table student info tab. Okay, now give the client PCs here. The yes, now I start Microsoft Visual Studio 2015. Okay, now go to the file menu and new project. Now I'm gonna create a project uh, to load data and <coughs> to display how to change uh, uh, give your row for color and back color on mouse over. Okay. I just uh, create this project in e all tutorials folder with the name change grid bureau color mouse over click ok ok now uh, my application is created I resize this windows palm application go to the toolbox and uh, now I'm gonna add the level control and button control and uh, data grid view control to display um, how to change the grid view row, co row color uh, on mouse over okay now add a data grid view control from the toolbox by drag and drop it in the windows palm application resize this uh, data grid view and uh, now i'm going to design this uh, form uh, uh, some look right if okay select label change the text of this label this is the default text now change it change uh, raw color on mouse over okay expand the font font sizes because i will use this label control as the title of this palm so size is 14 and font bold true and the for color is button paste and select the form and change the back color of this form back color is in green okay now this is looking nice uh, design this button as well and uh, i change the button back color is the dark green and uh, uh, change the text of this button. Uh, text of this button is load data, and uh, the four colors button paste and font size is 12. Yes, now this is looking nice. Uh, design is ready. So go to the button click event. Uh, now I'm gonna write code to load data from SQL Server to Data Grid View. In that case SQL connection can equal to new SQL connection I have to add namespace using system.data.sql client just to click using system.data.sql client and it's added as namespace now I have to add uh, connection string in the double quotation go to the server explorer right click data connection add connection select the server my server name is catalog hyphen sbr you can already seen it uh, authentication is sql server authentication yeah, if you have your own this authentication you can select ok username as and password is your sql server authentication password my database name is my test db select the database and uh, test the connection yes test connection succeeded ok now it's connected with uh, now sql server database is connected to the Visual Studio. My table name is Student Info. It's uh, added in the Server Explorer. Now, right click the database and go to the property. This is the connection string. Double click and copy. Yes, paste it in the SQL connection. Okay. Now it's connected to the database. Now I'm gonna write command. Uh, my uh, goal is to load uh, records in the data grid view. So my command is only select all the records in the uh, data grid view okay from the sql server database sql command c equal to new sql command uh, select a star from student info underscore tab this is the tab you can see um, it's displaying the server explorer student info tab i got the con connection string now sql data adapter sql data adapter da equal to new sql data adapter c 
which is as a so-called command now data table data table dt equal to new data table finally uh, dr dot field dt i mean data adapter and command the command uh, fill in the data table finally data grid view one that will be one is what uh, data grid view i added in the windows palm application that one data is equal to dt okay debug load data oh it's uh, displaying an error login failed for user sa i mean it's a uh, failed authentication let's check the connection string oh yes id is sa it's okay but password password is you have to put your password here so i just put my password and uh, okay now let's uh, debug again load data yes all the records are loaded in the data grid view. Now I'm gonna write code to change data grid bureau color and mouse when it's power application using C sharp. Resize this uh, form and resize the data grid view so that you can see all the columns. Okay, select the grid view and click on the event and the property window and uh, double click on the cell mouse move event. Yes, this is the data grid view one underscore cell mouse movement. Yeah, and I'm gonna write code uh, to change the grid view cell color. Then I will show how to change grid view uh, row color on mouse over. Okay, uh, so if e dot row index row index no greater than minus one. Minus one means uh, it will start from zero one to uh, I mean uh, minus uh, zero uh, zero to more than zero. Okay greater than or equal to zero okay now data grid view one dot uh, rows uh, e dot row index i mean where are you move your cursor and which cell uh, which row and which column okay row row index and dot cell c dot column index uh, dot style dot back color equal to color dot uh, uh, color dot you choose a color long green okay now this is for back color now i'm gonna um, uh, this line is for four color just change the style dot four color instead of back color uh, the back color will be long green and four color will be uh choose the color four color will be white okay now start little data Yes, it's working, but uh, it's not moved back in the previous condition. Uh, yes, uh, uh, color is also not looking fine, uh, nice uh, because of long green and red is not matched with each other. So, uh, yes, now it's looking fine, but it's not moved back. It's uh, to move back the cell color and data give you right code on mouse. Leave just follow. So. Uh, to right click mouse leap uh, go to the form one design select the data grid view and go to the property and uh, go to the cell mouse leap double click on the cell mouse leap event yes this is the cell mouse leap event just to right click if uh, row index greater than minus one i mean mm -mm. Uh, greater than or equal zero okay there will be one dot row zero to row index dot cell as is as same as a uh, mouse move event style dot back color equal to color dot white this is back color is white default and uh, for color zero to row index dot cell dot uh, uh, cell e dot column index style dot cell color for color for color is black start load yes this is default and you can see when you move the cursor it will uh, back to the previous condition okay now uh, remove it and now I'm gonna show how to change grid view row color uh, row color uh, I have shown you how to change the uh, grid view cell color on mouse over. This code is to change the data grid view row color on mouse over. In that case, default cell style, just change the default cell style. Every one dot, you know, this dot default cell style uh, dot back color equal to color dot light green. In the previous code I have shown only cell color. Now, default cell style 
Är du l- tjänsta? Håll råkallar här ju mobil kassor. Okej, let's start. Let's do it. Yes, it's uh, uh, changing the color of the whole row. Uh, as same as just uh, um, uh, copy this code and paste it in. And the cell mouse live event, change the color. Back color is white. Back color is white. Uh, and the four color is black. Okay. Now, start. Do it, did it? Yes. Now it's working fine. But uh, this color is not uh, masked. Uh, long, long light green is not masked. So change it as a uh, blue palette. Okay. Yes. Now it's looking nice and masked uh, with the white color for factly. Okay.